Hello there, welcome to Clinton Virtual Academy. Today we are going to be discussing materials. We are going to talk about materials that we find in our immediate environment. So stay with me as we as I take you through this. So um after we are done learning about materials, there are certain things that we should be able to know. And one is to identify and name a variety of everyday materials in our immediate environment. Again, okay. also we should be able to describe and group materials by their appearance. And then identify and classify materials as either solids, liquids, or gas. We should be able to also understand that mixture is two or more objects or materials put together. So we have four specific objectives right now. So our lessons are going to be divided into four. And our first uh, lesson is going to be on identifying materials in our immediate environment. So materials in the immediate environment. Right. Now when you look around uh, you, you see certain things, don't you? Yes. So if you look at the picture in the box, you can see that there are certain things that has been uh, that has been placed in the box. Can you try and name them? Their names are stated under it, but can you try and then read the names? Right. There are materials with different colors, shapes, and sizes around us. Some of these materials include metal, glass, plastic, fabric, or textile, concrete, wood, ceramic, and then rubber. All these are um, examples of um, materials okay now let's look at the everyday uses of materials so the materials that we mentioned above are used and in we use them every day in our, our lives okay so in our daily life we use materials to make different things for use okay now let us look at um, our first material which is uh, wood so we use wood in making tables and chairs okay wood is used in making tables and chairs it is used in making other things but for the sake of our uh, lesson let's stick to tables and chairs okay it can be used in making in building can be used in making a wardrobe okay even our books and pens are made out of wood okay they are all made out of wood now the second material is plastic second material is plastic if you take a look at your water bottle you can see that it is made up made out of something like rubber okay that is the plastic so our cups plastic cups plates and spoons are all made of plastic now our third uh, material is metals our third material is metals and metals come in different uh, shapes and sizes and colors there are different types of metal okay and they can be used in making uh, cooking utensils some spoons okay cups can be used in making roofing sheets so metals are also used in making a lot of things our fourth material is soil soil and then we all know that it is soil that helps our plants to grow the soil helps our plants to what to grow fifth material is stone stones so stones are also used in, in building okay they are all used in building houses in, in the construction of road stones are what used now i have given you five um, materials and from from our first page you could see that there were others so can you mention some can you mention some of the other materials that we saw on the first page so in describing materials by their appearance we have shape okay and we, materials comes in different shapes they can be round they can be flat cylindrical square or rectangle so if you look at sorry if you look at the plastic you can see that there were somewhere uh, long 
others were like in, in a box in the corner of a box or a square so you can see that materials do come in you know, different shapes also they come in different sizes and vary from material to material so if you take um something like the stone you can see that they were smaller in size but if you look at the the the, the wood or the tree yeah let's the wood yeah they were bigger in size they were bigger in size but the stones were smaller inside okay now let's look at mass let's look at mass some materials are heavy others are light so when you compare the plastic and the and the metal you can see that the metal is light and then the, no the metal is uh, heavy and then the plastic is light okay uh, let's go to texture let's go to texture so some materials are rough others may be smooth some may be sticky or grainy okay so there are some materials when you touch it it is very rough some to have very smooth surfaces and others when you touch it it's like your hand is sticking onto it, it doesn't want to leave your hand okay and there are others too that that, that looks like grains of rice or maize okay right now the last thing is that materials come in different colors materials come in different colors so which of the materials we discussed is your favorite and what color does it come what is it color what is the color of your favorite material that we discussed okay so this is the end of the lesson one we'll continue with the lesson two very soon